Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to another video. So it's been a few months now that we have finally received the Windows 11 update on our computer and it's still running in beta mode so there are still a lot of users who are yet to receive the upgrade. And the performance review for Windows 11 is not really impressive but what people really liked about the Windows 11 including me is the UI and the look and feel of it. And that is why I bring to you this Windows 11 setup for an Android phone. So now you can use this Windows 11 setup on your phone. Now before we get started, full disclosure, this is not an actual Windows 11 running on an Android phone. This is the home screen replica of a Windows 11 home screen. So you will have the same to same look and feel of a home screen of a Windows 11 setup on your Android phone. So as you can see that it has almost everything that is there in the home screen. So you have the widgets, you have the startup page. And then there I have also added this personalization settings page as well. So it comes with six wallpapers with three dark and three light UIs. So it reacts exactly the same as in Windows 11. So clicking on each wallpaper changes the UI. And you can also change the UI individually as well. Then I've also added this transparency mode just to get in a little more of a feel and then I've also added this wallpaper rotation system so that if you want to use your own wallpaper you can use it in landscape or portrait mode as per your wish. And then I've also added this taskbar alignment as well so you can have the taskbar icons on the left side or the center just as in Windows 11. And then you can click on the maximize button to get into the settings. And then you can click on these icons on the taskbar to get to the switches. So you have the Bluetooth Wi-Fi controls. Everything that is supported in this setup is there. And then I've also added the notification and the calendar page as well so as Windows 11 has it combined so you can have the notification shared and the calendar as well so if there are notifications available you will have two notifications max and if there is no notification you will have just a calendar show up and it also has this landscape mode so there's no point of using a Windows 11 if you can't use it in landscape mode So everything is almost same in the landscape mode as well. So you have the widgets that can swipe up and down by swiping right and left as it doesn't support swiping up and down in the launcher. So now that we've seen the wow part, let's get to the how part. And before we get to the how part, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe the channel and help me make more videos like this. And also share your feedback and suggestion on this setup as well so that I can improve it. So now what you have to do to get this set up is that you will find a link in the description and you will need to download this entire Windows 11 folder. So make sure to download the entire Windows 11 folder so that you can have the entire setup and you will find these applications in the folder. So make sure to install all the applications that are there in the folder and allow all the permission that it requires so that it can work properly. So I have given the icons and the wallpapers as well so if you want to add something you can do that as well. And then there is these two folders that you should not mess with because this is something you will see in later in the video. And then just go ahead and open this Nova launcher. So here I've saved you the trouble of setting up the launcher so what you have to do is just open the launcher and then just long click on it to get into the settings. Now once you're in the setting all you have to do is just scroll down and go to the backup and restore. Now just click on restore backup and then just head to the Windows 11 folder that you have just downloaded and there you will find a file named as Windows 11 Nova Backup. So just click on it and then it will ask you to 
override the layout just click on ok and override the layout and that's it your launcher is all set up for the windows 11 and now just go ahead and make sure to add another page so that you can have a two page setup so that you can swipe up and down and that's it the launcher is all set up now just go ahead and open the windows 11 theme so here you will find these four setup so there is a portrait and landscape mode combined on one then there is one landscape and another is portrait mode and then i've added this experimental mode as well where you have the wallpaper that can change automatically just the same as in windows 11. so there are two wallpapers as you've seen the folders the w2 and the w4 so the second and the four wallpapers changes automatically now if you want to make any changes in the setup you can do that by going to this global settings so all you have to do is just click on these check boxes and just unlock them to make any changes you require. If you want to change the app shortcuts, you can do that by clicking on the app icons and then click on edit. Now if you want to change the profile name, you can click on the profile name and just change it. You can do the same with the profile pic, so just click on this profile image and just select the image that you want your profile pic to be. Now as you can see there are 6 wallpapers here. So as I've already explained the second and the fourth wallpaper changes automatically. So you have these codes on the second and the fourth wallpaper. The rest of the wallpaper you can change just by clicking on the pick image. As you can see that the wallpaper changes automatically here. So if you want to make any changes like you want to change the time of the wallpaper you can do that from here so as you can see that I have the timer set as 0.6 which is like about one minute so you can change it to your desired time and for the rest of the wallpaper you can just click on this pick image and then select the wallpaper that you desire And that's it now just click on save and click on fix to set it as your home screen wallpaper and now you will have a windows 11 setup on your android phone so that's it for today's video if you find the video helpful if you like the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe the channel i'll see you in my next video